All right, so you're a first time home buyer and you're looking at new construction. What can you expect? Where are you gonna be? Where are you gonna end up? That's what we're gonna be going over in this episode of the Market Update. So today we got the new construction specialist. We got Eddie Eduardo Centeno, and then we got Jeff G. What's going on, guys? Nothing much, ready, man. Ready for this? Ready to provide some good value? Let's do it. Always. All right. Always. All right. So, so guys, yeah, we're gonna be going over. Hey, what communities are hot right now? So, just the top of your head, right now, what communities are hot? I got Homeland. A lot of people are going over there. Big houses, good pricing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Location, affordability. Location's a little far. Yes. Right, but affordability, big house, brand new, and they're just building out there. Yeah. Like I say, far from what? Where are you coming from? Yeah. I mean, right? like unless you live in LA, it's not really far. Yeah. Unless just you work in Santa. Look, America, we're not right? in yeah. we're not in San Jacinto or Hemet quite yet. <laughs> Once we're over there, then we can say, all right, that's far. You're yeah. nine minutes off of the two fifteen. That's not far. Yeah. yeah. Not at all. Once you're like thirty minutes in from the two fifteen, then we'll say it's far. Yeah, 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 I believe that. All right, 100%. Jeff, Jeff G, what's another hot Riverside. Community? Almost all the communities in Riverside have seen crazy increase in equity. Yeah. We have clients who aren't even moved into their homes. Their homes are still dirt lots, and they have like sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 in equity. So mm -hmm. Riverside's really hot. It's convenient. Um, it's not too far out, right? It's not Menifee. It's not Winchester yet. And you get some really nice houses out there in really good areas. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, and then we get it all the time, right? Like, hey, we're first-time home buyers. Like, yes, we would be want to be closer to LA, but reality is affordability is going to be out in San Bernardino County and Riverside County. So now that I'm going to be out here in Riverside County, I don't want a house that's 1950s, 1970s, yep. 1980s. Right. I want something new, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be really comfortable in, and that's what we have with these communities. So let's say somebody, right, is say, hey, hey, Eddie. I'm a first time home buyer. I want to pay $4,000 a month and I'm gonna be doing the lower down payment. What does that look like? Where am I gonna be at? So if I'm a first time buyer and I want about a $4,000 payment, you're more than likely gonna end up in banning. So that puts you in a price range uh, from like real low 400s, like even even high 300s uh, to about mid four, 450, 460 is what kind of where you're gonna end up at. Yeah, and so, you know, you think about somebody right now that's watching this video. They're like, "Hey, I'm pre. I just got pre-approved yesterday with with my with my deal, and I got pre-approved for four hundred thousand. That means I can buy that house." No, so that's the thing, guys. With uh, new construction homes, remember they do carry a higher tax rate. So most lenders, will you get pre-approved, let's say at your credit union, because people want to use their credit union or their yeah. bank at Chase, they're more than likely gonna. Um, pre-approve you at like a 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 uh, remember, these new construction communities are at a 2%. So let's just break that down real quick. Um, let's say for a $400,000 home, right? If you're like at a 1% tax rate, that's about $4,000 a yeah. month, okay? At a new construction, you're gonna be $8,000 a year. And sorry, that's yearly, right? So yeah. at a 1% tax rate, that's 4,000 for the year. And then at a 2% tax rate, that's 8,000 for the year. Yeah. So so if you guys, I mean, if you guys do the math correct, that's double. It's yeah. double. <laughs> Plus double. HOA. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then figure about, a, uh, about usually about a $200 HOA. So mm -hmm. if, if you're looking for, a four, you know, four, let's say $4,000 payment, right? You tell me, hey, I'm pre-approved at 500000 then, hey, I know banning, you know, the low 400s are going to be a right fit for you. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Not at 500000 That's only going to change, right? Yep. Um, so, Jeff, if I'm a first-time home buyer, right, and I'm like, you know what? I could do more than 4000 I want to do 5000 but I do want new construction, lower down pay payment, maybe FHA, 3.5% down. Uh, I have money for that, you know, 5000 what am I looking at? So you want $5,000 payment, new construction home in Southern California. You can get yourself to start creeping into that Riverside area. You can start getting in there. Paris has some really good options. You're probably looking, I mean, realistically, you're going to be in like the 500000s for a home. Yeah. You're not going to yeah. be over much of that. So you can start creeping into Wildemar, get a little bit closer to Corona. I know everyone always wants to be in Corona, but doesn't like Corona prices. Wildemar has some great homes out there, really affordable. Paris, some communities in Riverside. 
um, Moreno Valley, you start yeah. creeping there. You have the whole high desert, everything you want, Hesperia, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. Hesperia is actually <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything. I'll show you the world up there. Yeah. For $5,000, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and you'd be surprised. Hesperia prices are starting to hit mid-500s. Yeah, and that's in not Hesperia. I just sold the new you could, you could also get yourself like a detached condo, attached condo, in, starting to creep into Fontana maybe Ontario Ranch. It's going to be yeah. right yeah. around that. You can start getting into those areas. You can start moving west. Yeah. If you're, again, this is with the lower down payment. With the lower so down payment. Ontario Ranch, you're probably looking at an attached condo, not detached, for right. less than 5000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. definitely If you're attached. going detached, you're above the 5000 mark, depending mm -hmm. on the sure. HOA and all that. Yep. And then you know what, too? One thing to take into consideration is that a lot of these builders now, they're not pulling any permits out for single-family homes. Yeah. They're trying to go after condos, so they're trying to make the most out of you know these small lots that they're acquiring mm -hmm. so you're gonna see a lot more condos attached detached coming yeah no absolutely i think it has a lot to do with the people looking for homes now a lot of them are like yeah, millennials right. a lot of them are i don't even know what the other generation is z so the right? ages the um, age difference not a lot of people need a huge yard right they're on the move they're, we have some clients who don't even cook they just eat out they meal all prep the time. They, they meal out. prep and yeah. eat out. They don't even use their kitchen. I had one client who said, I don't even use my kitchen. Yeah. So you're starting to look at a lot more families moving to those detached condos, a little bit easier, quicker lifestyles, all the amenities right at home. They so don't, you don't have, have to the go far. No more. They don't need any of that. No. It's too mate, too much of a maintenance for them, right? Yeah, you got a chihuahua or got, Yeah. Like I, got, I got my client at Nouveau in Ontario, right? Nouveau Parkside, a single guy, two dogs. I see him all the time. He's at the pool. He's enjoying <laughs> yep. it. Like, yeah, he's not cooking. You know, he goes out. So, I yeah, mean. The two big dogs. I remember The that. two big yeah. dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what we're going to. I mean, we go out with clients and, like, the girls are like, I don't cook. Like, I meal prep. Mm -hmm. So, I don't need a big old kitchen. Yeah. So, th things are changing. Yeah. yeah. So, no, great options out there. Again, there for are. you guys, it's going to be more location, right? We talk about an Ontario Ranch new construction. And, you know, that is an option for you to keep the price a little bit lower. And then you have options. Say, hey, I'm not super far from LA. I'm not super far from like the OC, right? I'm not super far from like San Bernardino. Like it's it's all right yeah. there. So yeah, um, those are always a good option. Really popular areas. But now let's say, hey, I want to be Ontario Ranch or maybe even Chino, but I want a single family home. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. You're up there. You're you're starting to push into the yeah, even seven, higher, higher, nine hundred into yeah. the million. I would say seven, yeah. like seven fifty is probably the lowest you're gonna get now for a new construction single family home. And there's even condos out there for seven yeah. fifty. And resale side, like say Eastvale, yeah, you're you're getting close to a million for some yeah. of those now. Easy, yeah, nine fifty. Yeah. That's all I've seen. Out and there. here's yeah. the thing: it is what it is. People say like, oh, that's Cowtown and this and that. Well, they also call it the. Irvine of the Inland Empire, you know? Because the thing is, you gotta really break that down, right? What does that look like? Well, you have that 15 freeway, you know, you go down, you hit the 91, so you are into Irvine, you start going into Anaheim, so you are pretty close to everything, yeah. and a little bit, but prices are better, right? Yeah. Because you go into Irvine, you're talking 2.5, 5, 5 Easy. 10 million dollars, so yeah. you come over here, you're like, ah, I can get a big old house for a million dollars. People that are buying there, that's nothing for them, a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, so that commute is okay. Yeah, and there's there's houses out there for everyone. I know we're yes. talking about first time home buyer, but we have those people who are coming from Los Angeles, right? Selling their home, coming, yeah, coming into mm -hmm. those areas, multi gen family homes, right? For sure. Uh, yeah, yep. it, and guys, I want to set the right expectation because when I when I do talk to these people who are going to be selling in in LA, right, who are making that move, they think because they're going to cash out four hundred thousand, yeah, and they're going to buy you know eight hundred thousand dollar home, that their payment's still going to be low. I mean, no. it's still going to be a pretty decent payment, even with 400000 now. Right. right. So if you think about 400000 I mean, you're probably still looking at like a $36,000, $4,000 payment maybe. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Maybe, yep. you know. Maybe Gotta remember, interest more. rates are higher right now. Yeah. 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 So, and this is just the reality of it, guys, right? Hey, you want to sell your house, cash out 400000 put it in the next home. If you're going to yeah. buy a $850,000 home, your payment might be four dollars to $300. Again, we're just throwing numbers out. Don't quote us on any numbers because yeah. <laughs> uh, things do change, but that's what you're looking at. Yep. And that's yeah. the whole reason we want to do this show is to help you guys prepare. Hey, I want to be here. And and I know Jeff's been mentioning it before, right? What do we what do we usually start with to know how, like where to guide you? We have a 15-minute call. Yeah. On that 15-minute call, we go over everything, everything with you guys. 
We go over, I mean, your finances. We touch on that. We touch on what a, a loan would look like, what you want your monthly payment to be. We'll give you ideas yeah. of areas. We send you communities that'll work for what you want. I mean, we do everything in those calls. That's why I know we say it every day. You guys are probably tired of seeing the links, but those calls are literally the starting point, like the best place to begin your journey because you're going to get your roadmap. That call takes you from that 15 minute conversation with us into escrow. All the time. How, I mean, more than half of the escrows we have came from those 15 minute calls. Yep. Easily. And you're in escrow. Yep. Easily. So let's, let's continue to do that. Guys, um, Anything you guys want to share for somebody that's like, hey, I'm buying my first home. Like, what, what do I need to expect? We're not the enemy. I think that's a big one. I don't want prices to be where they are. Yeah. I don't want the interest rates to be in the sevens. I, I don't want that either. Right? Like, we're we're people too. We're not like a special species of human that is a realtor. Well, Eddie like kind of is. Eddie kind of, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> we're not talking about him. <laughs> but we want prices to come down too. We're, we're on your side on that. Like, we, we want that as well. We want... I mean, we want to buy houses. We want to buy everything, right? Like yeah. we all have the same goals. So that that's one big thing. Like we're here to help. We're not trying to like make a quick check. We're not trying to do any of that. I think when we go into a lot of our calls, we talk more people out of buying a home than we do give the right information for people ready to. That's so I think I've convinced more people, you know, I'm all about homes. rentals, right? <laughs> and uh, generational wealth. I've talked more people into keeping their home as a rental. Yeah and then still qualifying in a brand new construction, I get told over and over, Eddie, you're the first person I've talked to that said, yeah. keep my house, don't sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it makes more sense. It's I hear smarter. that all the time. Yeah. All the time. Well, they told me just to get pre-approved. You're not even close to being ready. Why would you waste well, your time? You know, Why would yeah. you lower your credit score? Why would you do that? That's why, Absolutely. back to those 15 minute calls. Yeah. And, and, it's I mean, important. I had a conversation with somebody actually on the way back from Riverside on Friday. I was coming back from Spring Mountain Ranch, which is a beautiful community in the city of Riverside. They have three different collections. They're great home. Yeah. I'm coming back. I jumped on a call. Um, you know, this client, they're like, hey, I, I, I'm good with like a $4,500 payment, but I want something close and new. And I said, hey, you're probably gonna like be still like past the 15 freeway for a condo maybe. Yeah. That's just the reality of it. And she was like, there's just no way. Like, mm -hmm. like I, we, we live in an apartment now. We were tired of renting, we want to buy. I was like, okay, hey, you might want to go resale, but in the location you want as resale, then you're probably gonna look at a $5,500 payment, almost $6,000 payment. And they're like, man, that's just tough. Like, you know, we're gonna have to think about it. I say, hey, you know, think about it. But in reality, you're probably better off renting for now. And to one, you know, she was actually staying home with her, her baby. He's like, hey, establish some work history, get yeah. that in. Right, and then you know, hey, you can afford a six thousand dollar payment because we don't know if the market's gonna go up, go down, interest rates are gonna go up, going yeah. down. So all we can share with you is where the market's at today, and that's just the reality of it. So uh, if you're like just wondering, hey, what does that what does that look like for me? Again, book the call, we'll yeah. have that conversation, or we'll say, hey, keep renting for a while. Um, yeah. Rent, um, you know, purchase over here. Right? Are you good with the price? Are you good with the payment? Are you good with the location? Do you have a solid job? Well, it's done. Yeah. All right. So, Eddie, people are probably thinking, man, you guys used to do nothing but resale. All you guys are doing now is is pushing new construction. And there's a big reason for it. We're not just like trying to shove this down your throat, right? Right. But for we sure. know we know where one the quality of homes is going to be. Yeah. Right. And and we're we're going from resale to to what? To new construction. Yeah, that's it. So what's happening right now is that in you know during COVID there was a big refinance boom and that's because rates dropped down to the two three percent. So what's happening right now is that people just do not want to sell their homes. They have a two percent three percent. Their payments are fifteen hundred or twenty five hundred dollars. Um, my payment is twenty five hundred dollars. I'm not going to sell my house. I, it would make more sense for me to rent out my house, make money, and go buy a new construction home. So yep. that takes us into why we're doing that, right? It's you go out here and you're seeing the quality of homes that are available. I tell people there's two reasons why people are selling the homes right now, and it's um, you know because they have to. And 
what I mean by that, having to, is they're moving out of state, they got divorced, or somebody passed away, um, and they have to sell the home. Or the other one is that the house is just rough and they've been wanting to unload it forever, and now is a perfect time <laughs> to unload it and make money on it. Because somebody's gonna grab it. Because somebody's gonna <laughs> yep. grab it because there's no inventory. So it's simple economics, guys, supply and demand. There's a high demand, people wanna buy, and there's no inventory, so they're gonna go all over it. And here's the thing, we start, usually with everybody that we have in escrow right now, on the resale side, right, Jeff? Yeah. And what's going on is just the quality of the home. It's just not the best. And then yeah. you go see a new construction home. It's brand new. Your AC system's good. You know you're not going to have any problems. And if you do, you have a bunch of warranties on them, right? So then you just start thinking, man, I'm going to pay, let's say, 650 for this house in Riverside. Yeah. And then, you know, this one is the same price. That's what's happening right now. They're almost the same price. Or even 680 right? That doesn't make a difference on your payment. You're like, man, that's kind of a no... Really what it is, it's a no-brainer now. Yeah. You know, you're like, man, I might as well go with the brand new house. Yeah, you're going to have an HOA or you're going to have a higher tax rate, um, but you're not really that far off. Um, and that's what we're seeing right now. That's kind of what's happening in the market and why we're pitching more new construction. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and then you get a, you know, hopefully in the future, refinance, right? So not only have you locked in the home, right. you're in the home now, you've already been used to making that payment now you know, hopefully, hopefully we can't guarantee it, but hopefully the rates go down and then you're able to refinance and now you have a little bit more comfortable. And, and here's the yep. thing, rates always move. Yeah. That You know, we can't tell you, oh, for sure your rate's going to come down. <laughs> but in the history of housing, rates go up and down. I mean, they've been All in the, the time. 15s, in the 10s. I got a 2, now we're in the 4s. So they do go all over the place. What I'm telling my clients is, look, lock in your house. I know you guys hear it on over. Lock in the house right now because when interest rates do come down, we saw it. We saw it in the last two, three years. As soon as they hit that four and a half, five now, everybody wants to get qualified. Everybody wants to go out there. And then now you have a thousand people looking and you got 10 houses. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're right. It's just simple supply and demand. So lock in the house. I tell people, if you're comfortable with that payment, right? We always say, Robert just said it right now. Um, are you comfortable with the payment, mm -hmm. the location? You have a, job, a solid job, then go for it. Lock in your house, stomach that payment until rates do come down and then you refinance. I, yeah. and, I, and I don't say that, oh, just refinance. I did it. I refinanced my house four times. I went from a four and a half to a 2% interest rate. My rentals too, I have refinanced it. So I'm not telling you as, oh, that's, what you should do or that's what sounds good no i did it myself yeah yeah four and a half i mean people take four and a half right now the four no. and a half sounds <laughs> awesome yeah. Yeah. It, Kill so that. you know another thing touching <laughs> on that guys those rates are not coming back those are artificial rates yeah that two your threes you'll be lucky if you see four and a halves again yeah it's just not gonna happen they're not gonna let it go back down that's why we're in the whole situation that we are in with inflation and everything else yeah true all right, guys. Well, I mean, I hope we, I hope you guys got some good value out of what we're saying today. Any, any finishing thoughts? Um, I think one, one finishing thought. It's it, it, when you guys are looking to just kind of touch on that resale versus new construction combo, guys. If you're looking like Ontario, most of the resale homes in Ontario, Ontario Ranch, have Melaroos. Most of them have HOAs. Most yeah. of them are already, you already have all of that in them. Like just because it's resale doesn't mean it's gonna be a thousand dollars cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, something that's, true. To, that's yeah, something to really, really think about because it's so, like two thousands, right? Like, so basically and, Yeah. And and Melarus is for forty years. Yeah. Like you're not losing yeah, that. Yeah, forty. Yeah. Remember Melarus came out after I think nineteen eighty eight or so. Yeah. Um so basically anything <laughs> I mean, yeah, like your 50s, <laughs> 60s, 70s, and 80s, you're going to have no, no Malaroos, but you're buying an older house, too. Yeah. I mean, 80, at 88, you're at 35 years yeah. of wear and tear on a house. Not that there's anything wrong with those houses, but they're going to be outdated. Of course. They're going to have their problems. It's not a brand new house. Yeah. yeah. That's all. That's it. It's been here. It's been here. Yeah. I was like, oh, I gotta say good, it. Good. Gotta say it. And the, the biggest thing is just real expectation, guys. We, you know, the payments of twenty five hundred dollars, three thousand, they're just not there no more. 
It's not happening. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want you guys to get discouraged um, when you guys have the conversation with us or that maybe we're just coming up with these numbers. No, <laughs> we, these people that are escrow, we see what their payments are. So we're coming to you guys with real life numbers. Yep. Yeah, it's like, hey, it's kind of like a new construction. If, if you have a low down payment, you're like at 4,000 and above. And just all day. Yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, and that's a, like I'm desert like, hot spring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I get to 5,000, you know, you know, I'm gonna get to 6,000. Like, yeah, it, it's gonna add up quick, so. Yeah. Again, setting the right expectations. Right. It's everything. We're, we're all about providing the value. And then when the time comes, we're, we're hoping we provide so much value that you guys are willing to work with us. And I, I know we talked about being that buffer and all of that. Yeah. So let us be that buffer. We, we, we share stories about what our clients have gone through, people reaching out to us and saying, hey, I, can you help us? And it's already too late because they went with somebody else and that person's not helping them. And there's only so much we can do. So. Yeah. Okay, let's make that initial call. Let's get yeah. people into a home. Book that call, guys. Book it. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we're finishing up. So, Casadeño out. Later, guys.